Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another jewelry illustration tutorial, which is the choker necklace piece with earrings. Now quickly moving to the product I've used. Let's start with the video now. Starting from the drawing, I have used this Brasto watercolor paper which is 5 into 7 inch in size and with the help of this HB pencil, I'm going to draw it. And it is a freehand drawing guys, it is not according to any kind of measurements or anything. So yeah. After drawing two parallel lines, I'm going to make small boxes as you can see. So here I am doing rhombus shape on top of it as you can see. If you are not able to make it perfect just draw a simple line as you can see the way I am doing and inside that draw a small rhombus shape. After completing rhombus you need to do pure shape on top of it in between the gaps especially. Now moving back to the boxes, I'll be doing small squares and inside it, I'll be drawing circles. Again, the way we did rhombus and pure shape, you're going to do exactly the same. Better just draw two lines and then make those designs to make everything look perfect. Now for the earrings, the same square shaped box with pure shaped and rhombus shaped designs. Here I'm making pearls and beads. Starting from the coloring, I have used Viridian Hue shade along with the white color and mixed them both and got this beautiful bluish shade. And I'll be using this paint for filling the squared box using the miniature brushes and the sizes 3. Here I used yellow ochre shade.
and between the gold foils of the kundan with the help of yellow ochre shade. Now for highlighting the gold foil, I am going to use a lemon yellow shade. Here I'll be using the diluted lemon yellow color for shading the mirror stones. Usually people don't use it but I love to do to make it look real so that's the reason why I always use warm tone color for shading on mirror work stones. Using the diluted black color for mirror work stones. Now for filling the gaps of the jewellery, I'll be using this burnt sienna shade and with the help of this miniature brush, I'm going to fill it. And for the corners, I am using the black color with the help of the same miniature brush. For small colorful beads, the shade I used is crimson red, permanent yellow deep color and mint green. Now for the beads, I used three colors. I obtained this beautiful shade uh, by adding crimson red, white and permanent yellow deep color. And now the pearls, for the pearls I use the diluted black color with the help of this miniature brush you can see the way I am shading it. Using the two brush technique over here, one for applying the paint and second one is for blending. Here I am using two miniature brushes not a flat tip brush as the pearls are too small so that's the reason I use two miniature brushes. 
and now i'm shading it it's completely optional if you want to do you can otherwise just skip Now the last I'll be using this white gel pen from Shakura and I'll be highlighting the core foil of the kundan and then I'll be using this glitter gel pen from Montex for beads. So here is the final look of the illustration. I hope you really like it. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with the very next video. Till then bye. Take care and thank you so much for watching.